That's right, you're reading the title of this video correctly. The product which I launched last week has had its first revenue. I actually can't believe it's happened this quickly, but it's so funny, once you actually get revenue, what's next? And that's what I wanna talk about in this video. So if you're new here, for the last four years, I've been working as a lead software engineer at a boutique financial consultancy in London. I recently left there to start my own design and development agency called Design Tide, uh, and also build SaaS apps. And the first one that I've been building is Interlude, which I've been documenting on this YouTube channel, kind of how I've been building it. Now, I actually have received my first order or first kind of subscription through the website, um, which is really funny because they actually, no one can actually access the product without booking a demo and talking to me first. So it's quite funny, no one's actually accessed the product yet. I've tried to get in touch with the person that's bought a subscription, but they haven't got back to me yet. So we'll see what they say when they actually find the time to book a call. Um, but it's interesting that's happened. And it's one of those funny things when launching a product like this, you just never know what's gonna happen. And that's what's happened. So yeah, that's quite interesting. So I suppose what's, so I've got the first revenue, as I said. So, so basically what's the plan for the next two weeks? I'm gonna be collecting feedback from potential users and not touching the code. Now to be clear, I actually only started marketing the product on the 1st of February. So it's only been a couple of days, um, which I think, you know, to get someone to order it and to get some feedback, which I've got already, I think I'm doing pretty well and I'm pretty happy with how it's going. Um, I'll go through what feedback I've actually received a bit later in the video, but it's, it is interesting to see what people have said so far. In terms of what I'm actually doing for marketing, it's actually really simple. And I kind of go back to that Paul Graham essay about do things that don't scale. So it's kind of three things which I'm mainly focusing on. The first is just kind of in my own network, who I know that I think would be like, would actually like to use the product. I'm just kind of going out, reaching out to them saying, hey, I've built this, what do you think? It's showing them a three minute Loom video and getting some feedback, which I have already. The second is going into LinkedIn, my own, my own network, and then going to connect with people that I think would be kind of interested in the product. So that's mainly accountants, solicitors, and just kind of reaching out saying, hey, how many times you search companies house? And then awaiting a response and then going, I've built this, what do you think? So that's kind of the two main ones. And the third is cold email. I'm using Apollo.io, which I got recommended through a YC video. It's actually a really, really powerful tool and I'd recommend checking it out if you're thinking of launching your own SaaS product and trying to do some cold outreach. It's a really cool product because it kind of lets you collate lists, put together email sequences and then send them in like a reasonable way um, that is better than most other marketing or cold email tools that I've used in the past. Um, so we'll definitely recommend check that out, checking that out. So all of that, all of that marketing is kind of the main aim is just to get them on a call, to get talking to them, walk them through the product and see what they think. If they wanna buy, that's great, but if they don't, ask why and kind of collect that feedback. So as I said at the beginning of this video, it's very important to obviously collect that feedback, but also to not touch the code, just kind of give myself, give myself two weeks to talk to users, see what they think, and collect this list, uh, and kind of collect a, uh, collect a list of feedback, which I have started, which I'll show you now. So it's a really simple list. Uh, basically what I'm doing is collecting feedback, the user type, so we've got like all the different types of personas or user types that I think would be using the product. Uh, and then just, yeah, basically this thing and listing them in here for the, within this two week time frame. What this essentially allows me to do is it makes, Basically, there's this kind of momentum graph that I always think when you're launching a SaaS product where you, the excitement's really, really high at the beginning when you're building the product and then you launch and then it's all kind of goes downhill. No one gets the product. Someone does, but they don't like it. They suggest something or suggest a, a feature which you don't want to build and then you lose all hope and then you just give up. So to avoid that, this is the framework which I'm going to use and have used in the past. If you want access to this simple template, make sure you subscribe to my newsletter. The next edition is about to drop soon and I'll include this little framework notion template in there for free. So if you want to join, it'll be linked in the description below. But anyway, coming back to this point, it's about getting past that chasm of kind of not having any users, getting some feedback which you're not sure about and being unsure what to build. This framework will allow me to collect feedback stay close to that rule of being like, okay, I'm gonna collect feedback, but I'm not gonna to touch the code. And then after the two weeks, be able to look at this based on the priority of what, where I think, how much of a big impact it's gonna have and look at the ease of build. So what's the thing gonna take the least amount of time? And this will essentially give me a list of features which are worth building. Now it's also really important to know if let's say quite a few of these bits of feedback have been mentioning credit checking and whatnot. So, 
you know, that's quite a big paradigm shift of what the product is meant to be and quite a big pivot. And what I want to say is I'm definitely not married to kind of going down just making a better version of Companies House. I would be very happy to pivot the product away to maybe a credit checking system if where I think the users, if that's what I think the users want. When I built my first product, I was very much married to the idea. And it's very important not to be married to your idea when you're building a product because you might think it's a great idea, but as soon as like actual users get it in their hands and they go, yeah, it's okay, oh, I don't really need it, it will take a bit out of you. So what I'm trying to do here as well within this framework and my own kind of mental framework of dealing with this is not being married to the idea and accepting if I need to pivot, I will, and that won't be a problem. So I think that pretty much covers the interlude recap, the products live, marketing started, collecting feedback and not touching the code for at least two weeks. Um, I'll obviously make sure you subscribe if you want to stay, kind of keep up to date with what's going on with the products and what I end up doing. And it won't be two weeks now until I really touch the code. So in the meantime, I'm basically going to be focusing on my design and development agency called Design Tide. I know in the previous video, lots of you or a few of you asked about you know how I'm running that. Let's just jump into that with a bit more detail. So at the moment with Design Tide, I'm just focusing on one development project at the moment. We're building an MVP. It, it's kind of staggering how fast I can do this now. It's it's bizarre looking back to a few years ago where I was kind of learned teaching myself to code and you know learning the ropes basically to where I am now, where I can kind of spin up an MVP in weeks and sometimes even days. And it's kind of got me thinking about right now. If we look at the Design Tide site, you can see. Uh, hopefully, you can see my screen you can see the main offer really is kind of just design and development as kind of these partnership plans. And this is kind of a productized service. So the idea is a client can, can sign up and they get access to a Trello board where they can essentially um, add requests one at a time and they'll just get worked on and done. Um, it's pretty much mainly async with a one, one call a week for both plans with me and we kind of just get stuff done basically. So obviously the design plan is where we get just like product, web design stuff done. And development plan is where they get two week, two, two week development sprints where we can build products, launch or, you know, build, launch, report, update your product basically. So those are the two plans at the moment. But just thinking about this current client within Design Tide and how we're building an MVP, part of me thinks about start adding, an, a, you know, adding a new service, which is zero to MVP, where we take on someone, we'll have a discussion with them they've got an idea which they want to launch and we'll figure out a way of getting it launched within two to four weeks. Um, something I'm thinking about, food for thought, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited about maybe implementing that soon. So I suppose just quickly, one of the great benefits of this is that clients can pause or cancel any time and it kind of removes all of the barriers to entry, which more traditional agencies have with proposals and then kind of scope of works and, and all lines of that, which just take time and take meetings and it ends up taking a few weeks to kind of get a project started. The idea with this and these plans is someone can literally subscribe and within 48 hours their work can be started, which is quite unique and what clients really like. Now with this agency, I only really plan to take on like one to three clients a month. And at the moment I actually do have capacity. So if you're an entrepreneur or business owner and you want to improve your product, website, uh, internal software, feel free to book a call. The link will be down in the description. You know, we can have a chat and see if it'd be a good fit. Um, but I think that pretty much wraps up the video. I know this isn't the, been the traditional day in the life videos, which I've, I've been posting on this channel. Um, I think these are a bit more what I'm going to be kind of the style of video, which I'm going to be doing a bit more moving forward. It's a bit easier for me to do, especially with, you know, to be honest, life's getting a bit crazy trying to launch the SaaS product and marketing it design agency. It's kind of hard to put together one of those kind of complex videos. I think sitting down and talking um, might be more of, of where the channel is going to go. So hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe. Um, and if you enjoyed the video, it'd mean the world to me if you hit the like button. Thank you very much, and I'll see you on my next video. Cheers.